Hey everybody, welcome back to another quick cast video. In this video, I'll be talking about how to make traps and doors in GM Forge. So, before we get started, we want to make sure that we have a dynamically lit map. And we have an asset to explore the map with. And with that, let's get started. So, I can create a spike trap really easily by simply right clicking, creating a new token, double clicking on the token, going to the advanced options, and then selecting a trigger. There are three types of triggers. There's a manual trigger, which requires a button to be clicked by either the players or the GM. There's a pressure plate trigger, which is activated if an asset ends its turn or ends its move on top of this trigger, or a tripwire trigger, which will activate if something moves over it. So I'm going to use the pressure plate and I'm going to add a roll dice event. Here I can enter some flavored text. I can configure the dice display to use the stat test. And I want to do this because I'm adding a threshold variable of 10, which means if a 10 or greater is rolled during this trap, it will highlight as a success. And with that, I'm ready to press confirm. And then if I move this piece right on top of it, the spike trap fires into chat. And it'll keep firing until I remove it. And you'll notice the success is right here. And with that, and we're ready to move on to doors. Doors are almost just as simple, except we will have to use some layers. What I mean by that is we're going to need to create a layer per door. So I'll be making two doors, one where the player can open it themselves and also close it, and then one where the door will open automatically and stay opened forever. So all I have to do is make two new layers and name them accordingly. Then, I'm just going to sort this layer differently. Then I make sure I have my proper layer selected. I can draw a wall that will act as the door on this layer. And then I can create the trigger that will toggle this layer. Now I want to make sure I select the proper layer, which would be door one, which is where I put it. And when this layer toggles, you'll notice the wall or the door toggles with it, so you can open and close it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a door that just opens automatically. So, like before, I draw a new wall, create a new trigger. And then I add the hide layer and I select door two layer. This will hide the layer when my piece moves over it and open the door. And that's really all there is to it. You can create new traps and doors and the more complicated you want to make your maps, you're free to do so. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.